Frank Sinatra. He's my father, but when I see him in the movies, I forget he's Frank Sinatra, the actor, the singer, or even the father and friend who never let me down. I only see the character he's portraying, and I think, what an achievement that was. I done it, Pooh. I escaped just like I said. Just like I figured. In the back of a truck, on the top. They rode me right out. Just like I figured. Frank Sinatra has to be the most documented entertainer in history. I've written two books about him myself, but there are some things which Dad would never have said himself that I'd like to point out. we had tonight. Anchors Away was the first movie I ever saw. <clears throat> you wouldn't know it, but Dad had to learn to dance just for the movies. His teacher was Gene Kelly. Dad said Kelly had the patience of Job, but Uncle Gene said otherwise. He said Dad was the original quick study. And she lives alone. Believe me when I say I know what it's like to fall in love with Frank Sinatra. On the radio, when he would say, Good night, Moonbeam, he was talking to three-year-old me. I remember the movie, The Kissing Bandit. I know it's one of the goofiest films ever made, and Dad always joked about it, but I got to visit him on the set, and in those beautiful costumes, he gave me goosebumps. To an eight-year-old, he was the most handsome man in the world. Honesty was the constant for my father, in his singing and in his acting. You see it in his eyes in every film, from the comedies and musicals to some of the toughest films Hollywood ever made. If you have any doubt about whether Frank Sinatra was a serious actor, look at the man with the golden arm. Dad played the addict Frankie Machine. My favorite scene is in the jail cell. He sees another addict breaking down and faces his own nightmares. No dialogue necessary. In a moment like that, I'm like any other fan. I don't have to be his daughter to see the truth in that performance. He was totally convincing in every role he played. And he was so believable that sometimes people got the wrong idea. Sweetheart, buy the boys a drink, will you? For example, Robin and the Seven Hoods. In that movie, he played a thug, so he spoke like a thug. D's, dem, and do's. And now because of that one movie, some people think my father really talked that way. But remember... This is Frank Sinatra, who probably did more for proper speech and enunciation than any American who ever lived. What you require is the proper squire to fire your heart. When playing a swinger, he was the epitome of cool. And men all over the world still imitate those characters, the wardrobe and the lingo. But sometimes they forget that the same characters had another side. It wasn't all swagger. It wasn't all good times. Even the womanizer pal Joey had a conscience. Darling, I want to marry you. It'll take more than a gold band and a two-buck license to make an honest man out of a bum like me. That's a little job I'm going to have to work out myself. Thanks for the use of the pad. I remember Dad telling me, you can't set the whole world straight. Life is too short. People will believe what they want to believe. I can tell you that the real Frank Sinatra was driven by what I call steamroller ambition, the need to accomplish. It wasn't about ego, but a drive to stretch his talent, to see what he could do as an artist just like singing on a record. Acting on film could capture the tiniest detail, every emotion with subtlety. All that he learned and communicated as Frank the singer translated to Frank the actor. 
For the longest time after we lost him, I couldn't watch these films or even listen to his music. But thankfully, this has changed. His talent was so remarkable. The man, such a treasure, such a gift. I'm so glad, so grateful that Daddy made these films for all of us. For Turner Classic Movies, I'm Nancy Sinatra. Frank Sinatra is bewitched, bothered, and bewildered by Rita Hayworth and Star of the Month Kim Novak in Pal Joey. Thursday at 10 p.m., only on Turner Classic Movies.